The Battle of Shrewsbury 1403, Part 12. The Battle of Shrewsbury was fought at the place named Battlefield to the north of the town. Before we talk history, may we suggest a visit to the site? You can easily explore the site of the brutal battle, fought between King Henry IV, and the rebellious Harry Hotspur, 600 years ago. If you want to get a feel for where it took place, watch out at the end of this video, and make a note of the website where you can download the directions to the start of the 1.5 mile long public footpath. Walk the footpath, and as you walk read the downloadable map, which also explains the events of the battle and assumed locations. Now let's talk about what happened during the Battle of Shrewsbury. To recap on the last video, Harry Hotspur was the son of a powerful northern lord. He'd marched south from Northumberland, hoping to raise an army to fight the new king. The rebel, Owain Glendower had also promised him help from Wales, but Glendower's Welsh army never arrived. Harry's army were tired from walking and hadn't had breakfast. But, despite the absence of, Owain Glendower's men, Hotspur fought heroically. Eventually in desperation, followed by 30 of his best knights, he galloped at full speed into Henry's army, straight toward the place where the royal standard had been set up. The force of the charge was tremendous. The royal banner was beaten to the ground, the Prince of Wales was wounded in the face, and many of Henry IV's closest followers were killed. Hotspur reined in his panting horse, sheathed his blood-stained sword, and raised his visor. The next moment, as he got a clear view of the battlefield, a cloth yard arrow, barbed with steel, pierced him between the eyes, and for a moment stood quivering on his head. In an instant the young hero of the Marches of the North dropped dead. It is said that Glendower had by this time reached Shelton, a few miles away on the opposite side of the Severn. Climbing an oak to view the scene of the battle, he saw that his allies were being overwhelmed. Instead of going to their help, he retreated into Wales. It is said that a hundred thousand arrows fell in the first minute of the battle. Thousands died in the first five minutes. Text based upon the story of Shrewsbury, by Richard Graves, Hardwick House, Ellesmere 1993. Images were used of the Battlefield Walk, and a very useful PDF formatted. Battlefield Walk. Route map, is available at, www.shropshiresgreetoutdoors.co.uk. If you enjoyed this video, please, comment, like, share, and, subscribe, to our page. If you do, we will be encouraged, and make more.